and welcome back to today's lesson. I'm very excited to share with you today how to create really engaging content on LinkedIn and leverage that content so that you can attract leads to you rather than you always being the one to reach out to them. Now in the previous lesson, we talked about how to join the right groups to, where, to find your target market in there and start networking with them. This is one of the networking strategies that we're going to use is to leverage content to attract the prospects in those groups to reach out to you, want to connect with you. So today we're gonna to talk about different ways that you can find content such as using Google Alerts and also we're gonna talk about how to use LinkedIn itself for content ideas to see what's popular on LinkedIn and perhaps you wanna write a blog post around that. We're gonna share, share with you how to organize your content marketing strategy. Now one of the things that we do for our clients is we'll set up a, a monthly calendar of the content that we're gonna be putting out on LinkedIn for them and where it's going out so that we know for the next month exactly what's happening and where. I'm also going to share with you some content writing best practices so that you get more click-throughs to your blogs and people get engaged. But most importantly, the readers of your blog posts or videos become prospects and people that want to hire you for your services. And this strategy works really, really well because when somebody reaches out to you to do business, that, that's a much different positioning than, than you reaching out to them. They're the ones that have found you, they're the ones that are asking for your help. So you're in a more position of power in, in this particular scenario. That's why I love this strategy so much. This is, for example, a message I recently got just from somebody that, that recently read one of my posts and now she wants to refer me her clients uh, because she saw you know, the, the expertise that I have and she feels it would be a really good fit for the clients that she's working with. And this is not uncommon, but there's definitely a system and a method of how you do this and that's what I'm super excited to share with you today. So let's get right to it. So first we're going to start out with Google Alerts. Now I love Google Alerts for many reasons and number one is because I can get content sent directly to me about the topics that I'm interested in. So for example I can I can get things on industry news, things, that, things about my company that are being said. So I'm going to go into my Google Alerts and show you how to create these and how to manage these. So there we go, Google Alerts, and it's the first link that comes up. Now you can see some of the alerts that I've got set up under this Google account. Now you see I've got my name in there, I've got LinkedIn, LinkedIn course, LinkedIn marketing, LinkedIn training, SEO updates, Wizard Media, which is my company's name, and then my company's website. Now. I'm not going to get too much into putting my name and company. Uh, you definitely should have Google Alerts around your name and your company just because if somebody mentions you or leaves a review or says something negative about you, you definitely want to be alerted. If, and if this happens anywhere online, you want to be getting these alerts. And so this is the easiest way for you to be able to stay up to date as to, as to that kind of stuff is concerned. Now, the other reason why I love Google Alerts is because this is kind of like the, the lazy man's way to, to find content to write about. So if you, you know whatever industry that you're in, whether you're in, let's say, LinkedIn marketing or search marketing or you're in uh, software, you know, what kind of software that, that is, uh, you know, CRM software or whatever it might be, you might want to put all those different kinds of alerts in here so that you can get updated on as to the latest blog posts and popular content around that particular keyword. Now, you can go here to your settings and you can say uh, give me give me a, a separate email for each of these alerts so I have it on digest that means that I receive all of the alerts in one email if I uncheck this I'm gonna receive each alert in a separate email so I don't want to get bombarded with more emails than I already do so just one email for all the alerts is fine and at most once a day if you don't want to get get it daily you can also get it weekly but I like to get mine daily so you just hit save and that's it. And if you ever need to delete an alert, you can just go here and delete it. If you ever need to edit the alert, you can just go there and edit it. Very simple stuff. You'll get that in your email every day and this will help you with creating ideas for content and generating content. Another place where you can get ideas for content is LinkedIn itself. Now we're gonna be using LinkedIn's publishing platform to drive views to your content and get more views to your profile and networking LinkedIn groups. So why not use LinkedIn's own platform to do this? So what you want to do is you want to go to interests and you want to click on pulse. And you see this little menu bar right here that gives us all the different topics that 
that you can find on LinkedIn. And if you want to discover more, you just click here on Discover More. And right here we've got some influencers that LinkedIn recommends for me. And then we've got the different channels. So these are all the different topics that you can write information about on LinkedIn and publish it on LinkedIn. And if you want to see more, you just click on See More. And there you have it. So what you want to do is find the, the topics that you're going to be writing about and look at what are the most popular blogs in there, what are people mo most engaged with, and write content around that. So for example, let's say I'm in the airline and aviation business. I'm going to right click into that. And then what's going to show me at the very top is going to be the, the latest post. So if I want to see something that's been around for a little bit longer, I just want to go down. Okay, this one's got 317 views, so that, that seems pretty popular. I want to scroll down and see if I find something that's got a lot more views. Let's see. 6,000 views. So this is something that got a lot of engagement, 89 comments, 177 likes. So that might be something that I want to put in my Excel sheet and take note of as to what people are engaging with in my industry on LinkedIn. So after you've scrolled down for quite a while, just put everything into an Excel sheet and write down the, the blog title, the views, the amount of likes, and the amount of comments so that you know which, which way you want to take your content. So using this along with the Google Alerts, you should have plenty of ideas to create content for the next month or so for LinkedIn. Along with this lesson, you're going to have that Excel sheet already created for you, so you can just download that and start filling it in with your content ideas. Now, I also want to cover with you some best practices as, as far as how to create content that actually converts prospects, or actually readers, into prospects. So let me take you over to one of my blog posts and show you that real quick. Now, here we are on a recent blog post that I, I created, and it's called My Highly Guarded LinkedIn Secrets. Now, everybody wants to know a secret, and I'm going to tell you in just a little bit about best practices for writing headlines that really get people's attention. Uh, but, but basically, what I did here is I, I used seduction as a lead-in to show people how you want to seduce your prospects into buying your products and services. So I've, I've taken a couple of approaches with this. I've it speak, I sparked people's interest with having an intriguing headline, such as having secrets. Then I teach them something. So this is what you want to do. You want to be teaching somebody a tip or two that shows your expertise, that shows what you're talking about, and within the content, as you're giving away this tip, because this tip should be, you know, one of the things that, that you do for your clients to help solve their problems. And in there, you want to talk about the results that you've helped people achieve by using this strategy that, that you're giving away on your blog post. So if you go down here, I'm not going to read the post for you because, you know, you, you can do this on your own. I talk about some of the results that, that, that I speak of uh, when, when talking to clients and trying to convert them. So that shows people that when they work with me, this is what they can expect to experience. So you see what I'm doing is you're teaching and at the same time you're showing your value by again talking about the results that you provide your clients with the strategies that you're talking about and then you want to have a call to action. Now the call to action can be something as simple as what I've done here and just sending people to my website or it could be, you know, to learn more information, uh, sign up for this free webinar that I'm holding, or sign up for this free ebook here, or contact me here on LinkedIn and connect and schedule a free consultation. It could be a variety of things. So, you, but you definitely want to make sure that you have some sort of call to action at the bottom so that you can take the prospect to the next step, whether it's you want them to go to your website or, or download whatever it is that you have. Now, let's talk about some content creation best practices. The first thing that people are going to see is your headline. So to create a headline that really sparks people's interest, the best ones to do are how to, everybody wants to know how to do something, using numbers. So uh, like for example, how to lose 10 pounds in seven days, you know, something like that. Or using numbers like, like lists or four ways to, uh, what, what, this is actually a blog post that did really well for me, uh, four ways to turn uh, visitors into customers, or secrets and questions. If you ask somebody, what would you do if you lost all your clients tomorrow? So the people are like, whoa, what, what would you do? So, um, you know, 
questions that, that are going to spark some sort of some sort of emotional response is really what you're going after and anything with controversy so for example one one that i did for controversy is saying why having a, a facebook fan page with, with 60,000 fans means nothing and so people are like wait what why would that be so now you, you've got them going in to read your blog post and in there if you're if you're doing facebook marketing for example you want to be talking about how you've created a facebook fan page with 60,000 fans but it's not about having fans it's about engaging them and turning them into actual customers talk about how you did that and then ideally if you have a case study to throw in there about a client that you helped then now you're converting the, the reader into wanting to do business with you because again they want that result so most important part is the headline and then within the content educate show your value show your expertise and always have a call to action for the next step don't leave it just hanging and at least at minimum ask people to like comment and share your post so it can get more visibility so next you want to start to set up your Google Alerts for your content you want to start creating your content calendar and create your first blogger video now if you don't always want to be creating your own content you don't have to I know you're busy and sometimes you might not have time you can leverage other people's content and then be posting that inside of groups so that at least you're providing value in groups in the subsequent lessons we're going to be talking about how to take the content that we're creating or that we're finding and leverage that to generate leads so for this video I really just wanted to focus on high quality content how you can create it and how you can use that to really showcase your expertise and attract prospects to you in the next lesson we're going to be talking about how to leverage groups and LinkedIn polls with this new content that we have and again don't worry about always having to write the content yourself you can leverage other people's content if you're short on time but you want to make sure that you're being active in the groups and providing value because that's helping you stay top of mind and attracting those leads to you so that you're not always having to use your connection requests and you know being the one that's always after your prospects so create your first piece of content earn your badge and make sure that you download the workbooks and resources along with this lesson because I've got the best practices written out for you for creating high value content and how to really convert your readers into prospects as well as how to organize your content calendar and how to research content ideas and stay organized as well. You definitely want to have all of these workbooks together so that as you're, as you're completing the actions in this lesson that you're being the most effective with your time and that you're creating something that's really going to attract leads to you and help convert themselves before you even talk to them.